I believe this episode is the pop-off episode. The war is upon us, but technically, we kind of prevented that by Benny Maru and Zoe going in and just kind of <laughs> just not killing Paulo, but I think he's pretty much done. Now, Luminous was there, and I actually misread the translation when she showed up. I thought that someone ordered her to be here, but no, she says, I'm here for that one. I can't believe someone like that one is involved here. Who is that one? Is it Rimuru? Or is it... Paolo? Or is it the primordial demons that's been so hyped up and pretty much the only reason I'm watching this OVA for? Let's begin today's reaction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We killed them all. <laughs> yo, yo, Benny. <laughs> Look at Benny. Benny was about to fucking just... <laughs> no, no, no. He wouldn't kill Aslan, bro. And we saved her, bro. Demon curse. Gluttony OP. Yes. I mean, if I if I was Aslan and I saw like this kind of magic being casted onto my little sister, I'd be like, what the fuck? But this is the demon curse we're kind of getting rid of from not Clayman, Gustav. Demon curse. Demon curse. Demon curse. Demon curse. Gustav? Gustav casted that? Demon. Primordial demon. Hmm. Why is it not a vampire curse? Why is it a demon curse? Hmm. There's no way Gustav is a primordial demon! No! No! Don't let Gustav be the... Ah, he's a piece of shit! I wanted to disrespect him! But if he ends up as a primordial... Ah! What is he? What color was his fucking hair? Purple? Was, that, was his hair like light purple? Don't tell me he was like primordial purple or some shit, bro. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Yo, someone please fucking heal, you know, Aslan's nipple. The great phantom thief, Satoru. He's Satoru. <laughs> Souther isn't a vampire. No Zine blood. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yo. Does this matter? Does does this matter? You see the teeth right here? Every vampire has the teeth. It doesn't like I got fangs too, right? Everybody has naturally fangs, right? But like it doesn't could you imagine if this like hinting at that he's a vampire or something? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm being way too schizo about this, bro. I'm being cautious. I'm being cautious. Okay, here's uh, Souther. Okay, we meet eye to eye. Yeah, you guys fucking fell for it for three years. Yes. Unless it's the princess that's lying and she's the mastermind. What color is Carl's hair? Carl's hair is also purple. Is he primordial purple? Wait, there was the ring too, remember? He had the rings. Wait a minute. Ah! You motherfucker. Are you the primordial demon? Carl also told me that you had taken... He was the one that confirmed it. And that's why we said to testify, right? Now it's seeming like he's the mastermind. Carl! How could you do this to us? <laughs> that <laughs> ring was sussy, but... Huh. Huh. What if Paulo is a primordial? Uh oh <laughs> Carl? <laughs> what a comically evil laugh. <laughs> Alright. Primordial. Is his name actually Carl? Is he a named demon named Carl? No shot. They are Zako to a primordial. So I wonder if Luminous, when she said, you know, I can't believe that one is here, it's referring to Carl, the primordial fucking purple or whatever he is. No, the <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! A punch was quite impactful, but it's gonna regenerate. <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Where's Gustav at? Portals, bro! What is Gustav? Is he primordial white? His hair is kinda like white is gray, right? What the fuck? So are these both primordials? 
Maybe it's a primordial purple and an arc demon, right? There's only one primordial here and then there's the other. Shit, Gustav is looking pretty strong. So there are arc demons. Well, we don't know yet. And yes, remember, I'm not reading chat right now because there's a lot of excited monkeys that's new here. Spoil equals ban. When I ask a question, these are rhetorical questions. If the anime did not say anything, do not say it. So the assumption here right now, both are at least arc demon. Hair color, pretty similar. So I want to believe that they are arc demons of a primordial. Are they, one of them has to be primordial, right? Are they both like under primordial purple? Is he primordial purple and one is an arc demon? Who really knows? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all are outmatched, man. Where's Luminous? Luminous, show up, fight! Luminous! Luminous! So it looks like Gustav is like ordering Carl, right? So we have to assume that if, if one of them is a primordial, right? Gustav is the one that's in charge. Sacred body. Barrier up. Dude, he just keeps blinking. Gustav is kind of cracked. Oh, that's easy. He just used gluttony then. Zenobia is the sacred body. Oh, Jesus, Asan took that hit she, from an arc demon? That's kind of huge. Minimum arc demon, by the way. I always loved you, big brother. Big brother, I was wanting a shield. <laughs> oh no, Asas! <laughs> At least give him their fucking moment to hash it out like brothers! This is like three years of fucking brother relationship gone to ruin that was about to be solved through a heartfelt moment and he was just like, hoi hoi, get the fuck out of here! Aslan got his head, look at this shit, look, 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 look at this shit, look, look! <laughs> Satoru pushes Souther and look at Aslan's hair, look at Aslan's head. Now nah, you're better, you're good, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> 99.9999999% and some honey. Ready perfectly. You look at her drip. Paulo? No. If Paulo does something and he clutches, right? If he does something here and he actually clutches, bro, is Paulo gonna have a Gopta moment, man? Paulo, what you got cooked up? Paulo solos two arc demons. Paulo, come on, you're the chosen one. You're a staff master, bro. Oh shit, he's actually gonna try it against Gustav. The potion might heal you up. Yeah. He did give me that staff. Try it. He gave me something that valuable because he trusted me, right? <laughs> Listen, the, we have a lot of the potion and the staff is just like, we just make that shit up. Like, it doesn't matter. But yes, we trust you. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, he's, he's arrested right now. Yes, he's doing everything for you. Oh shit! Main character monologue! Yo, Paulo! Yes, gluttony! I thought our demons would be way stronger. True, yes. Our god! For the sake of manifesting our god. They need a sacred body, a vessel, to implant a soul into? Our god, the demons, demons, they're trying to resurrect, so these are arc demons trying to resurrect their primordial. Does that make sense? Right? So these are arc demons of purple, and they're trying to get primordial purple through the sacred body, kind of? Oh, another barrier, wow. Negative emotions. They feed on like people's tilt and anger. You're gonna eat Carl? 
This motherfucker, we just spent like the last 10 minutes fucking fighting Carl here and got him tied up. You're just gonna fucking take him away, bro? That's some bullshit. Rest in peace, Carl. <laughs> Gustav got even stronger. Yo, that was a cool transition scene. That was a transition scene without a transition. It's kind of awkward how he just sat there. He's like, now let's begin. He's just like waiting for the transition scene. Did it play? Hmm. All right, let's play again. Oh, Paulo! <laughs> Paulo, secure the sacred body! Luminous, luminous! Luminous. God, Luminous has just acknowledged Paulo. Out of respect for your good intentions in saving that girl. Bro, Paulo might actually be the fucking main character. <laughs> Paulo has no idea who this is. Like, Paulo, imagine, like, oh my. An arc demon of purple is nothing. Zako. Perhaps fighting you would be a waste of his effort right now. Who is he? His effort. Luminous keeps talking about somebody I just don't fucking know. Like, who could it really be? It's not Paulo. No shot, Luminous is fucking... I will play... <laughs> his effort. Is it actually Paulo? Perhaps fighting you would be a waste of his effort. Paulo's efforts to save the body. Baby, I don't fucking know. I, th I think it actually might be Paula here. It, it kind of makes sense, right? Fighting you will be a waste of his effort. I, it's too deep. <laughs> Majin? Beyond. <laughs> Not my problem, you're weak! Look at that look! Bangs! See, this is what I was saying, right? This is, this is what I was saying. When, when I was looking... It's not fair! Because, like, you know, there was a frame of Aslan. I showed you that fucking frame of Aslan. He had the same teeth, and I was like, hmm. Aslan vampire? See, these are the actual vampire! Mm. Yo, summon your fucking master! I want to see Primordial Purple! <laughs> Look, at least he tried. Look, at least Paulo tried, right? He even acted as the guard, right? Okay, here we go. Primordial purple. Luminous should bite. Luminous should bite Paulo. Paulo should turn into a fucking high rank vampire right now. Could you imagine? Luminous has Zyneblur or some shit, gives to Paolo, Paolo becomes high rank vampire, Paolo shows up in season three or season, could you imagine? That's cool that Luminous like respects him. <sighs> Damn! Are you serious? Primordial purple's a lolly. Primordial purple's a fucking lolly, bro. Come on. All right, all right. We gotta fucking do some little, little child bullying, bro. So where does Zenovia go? Is her body just gone forever? Is she dead? Because I thought, like, Zenovia's form would retain. Like, her physical body would be retained. But then her personality would change. And maybe her hair color might change. But I don't see Zenovia's, you know, body here anymore. <laughs> They know each other, huh? Okay. Violet. Violet. Yes, of the religion Luminism. This is the original Demon Lord. What does that mean? Does, that, does, does the word original Demon Lord matter here? Because the way that he says original Demon Lord makes it sound like she is like literally the og like the first ever to become a demon lord because she's a vampire that become a demon lord because vampires live for so fucking long okay. they're kind of friends though huh violet's voice actor is very cute I don't know how to say it. She's got fangs too, man. She's got fangs too. Is she a vampire? Who knows? Yeah, she does kind of sound like Karame from Honda Girlfriends. They're just doing fucking Dragon Ball Z fights now. 
red because blood? That was cool. Little, little warm up, little warm up. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> El Gustav. El Gustav. Wait, but you got that sacred body though. Feel it being kind of me? I, all you did, all you did was force me to manifest into her body using my own power. I, isn't, isn't that like a good thing? I don't know. Very picky. Viola's very picky. Oh, 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 is pretty pissed. Bye bye, Gustav. Is that the is that a soul? That's a soul, right? Gustav is actually dead. The physical body doesn't matter. His soul, whatever demon soul, done. Fucking done. Only seed I've sown. Does this matter too about the, the demon seed shit? You remember the true demon lord seed stuff? I don't I don't know. It's just maybe just like the phrasing. You're gone? Bye bye. What what hey 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 wait hey. And she's back. Zenobia's back. So, how does this work? So, Violet, um, can she just manifest in other people's body now? Where does she go? Does she go back to the demon realm? Do we need, like, another host to kind of just, like, I don't know. How does that work? Right? Because, like, Diablo... Diablo got... Remember season one finale? Season one finale, Diablo actually got summoned. There's a difference between being a summon and manifesting off of someone else's body. This is interesting. I need to watch some Annie's content about this. Yeah, they, they had to maintain their form. Like she said that I'm, you, you, you forced me to manifest using my own power, right? So hmm, this, this is very interesting how, you know, primordial demons and you know, other people like that kind of just like stay around. Like Diablo actually does stay around. But like, you know, I, Diablo's... We, we use like 20,000 or some shit. Like we use a lot of sacrifice. Well, when Rimuru summoned, that was at a point where he consumed like 20,000 souls and he just summoned Diablo accidentally. This is like, I don't fucking know. Maybe we got to watch the fucking movie, man. Fuck, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it does seem like the quantity of people, right? The quantity of people or quality of the people, the sacrifices kind of matters in manifesting a demon lord. And right now, Zenobia her, herself is not enough compared to Diablo being summoned where there was like, you know, 20,000 sacrifices. Okay, but cool. We met another demon lord though. Sorry, uh, primordial. Please, just, just bite. Just bite. Give him Zine blood. Make Paolo into a high-ranking demon. It's like vampire and like recruit him. Come on. Could, could you imagine? Could you imagine if Paolo actually goes with Lumina? Lumina's like, you know what? I respect you. That was kind of cool how you saved her. Come on, let's go. No! Come closer! Bite me! This is the excuse that we're gonna give. You actually got me excited. That was charm there? That was charm, yeah? I actually got excited when she said, come closer. I'm like, you gonna bite? You gonna bite? Am I gonna be a vampire? Like... Rest, rest in peace, Carl. <laughs> Paolo, bro, you are the staff master. Yeah, I did it for sure. What did you say? A fusion between demons is so difficult that it is considered taboo. As in Gustav and Carl kind of coming into one, but that doesn't really matter, right? Because Lunas took him out and, you know, Viola basically just fucking destroyed the soul. Paolo did all this. Yep. Paolo, the hero. Demon Slayer. Arc Demon Slayer Paolo. That's crazy. Great Sage is actually giving plausible excuses on why this could have happened. Great Sage actually kind of, kind of just like glazing Paolo. It, like her, her reasoning does make sense, but like, I wonder if the Great Sage is like, ah, I mean, I, I, don't know. I guess Great Sage doesn't know. I mean, how could she know, right? I don't know. It was too far away, right? It was too far away. It's not like she was there at the spot. And like, the circumstances, the excuses, it does kind of make sense. Now, if this was Raphael, you think that Raphael would have gotten a better answer? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe. 
Well, if, I mean, if, if, if Kaito gave the honey and we just gave the honey, then it's like, you know, <laughs> you picking up when I'm putting down, you know? <laughs> I mean, I was the jail, so what do you mean? Oh, Paolo's here too. So now we have diplomatic ties with... I wonder if they're actually going to be important in future seasons. Mjolnir mentioned our great merchant friend. Oh, he's heard. Yeah, what a coincidence. Nah, even Paolo is acknowledging he was someone like fucking amazing, bro. Yeah, what about the king? Where's the king? So a long time ago, whenever Gustav was here, right? The king was already pretty much fucked up. He was just like a little puppet king, right? He was already done. GG. He summoned the arc demons though. Okay. He want to take over the body of oh the king did fucking you know plan this shit though huh okay it's not that the king was innocent he summoned that shit and he was planning to do some Orochimaru shit so he can continue fucking you know living as a king. Here. <clears throat> Satoru, yeah, yes. <laughs> is that it? Luminous? Back up, what is this? You look like Shizu, right? It, it looks like Shizu, right? Anybody would see this and looks like Shizu. Shizu looks like Chloe. And Chloe, whenever Veldora looks like Chloe, Veldora does the Veldora thing, impact! Because Chloe is supposed to be somewhat connected to the hero. Then I can assume that the hero also looks like Chloe and Shizu. Is this the hero's body in a chamber? Luminous is old as fuck, right? Luminous is the original demon lord. Luminous harvested the body of the hero and has kept it in a cryo chamber. And she wants to, just like how the Ark Demons wants to revive their god, Luminous wants to revive the hero. And then the opening, when we see the person le I don't know, I don't know, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's Admin D, guys, it's Kaiba, it's Admin D, it's fucking everybody that I don't know. <laughs> the king again. <laughs> Luminous is here? Wait, 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 this kind of seems really important. Wait, wait, what's going on here? That's not the king, is it? Is it the king? This is the king. This is like a flashback of past scene, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If this is what it's come to, I'll manifest a demon into my body. Yes, the king is summoning the arc demons. Luminous is already here, though. I let Violet's secret plot slide. What the fuck is Violet's secret plot? What, there was a secret plot before? <laughs> hmm. Ruminous Valentine. Guard whoa, 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 whoa. New, new title, new title, new title. Guardians of the Four. Four. Goodbye. The rose petals. Remember? Like every time, like in the opening when Lumin. Oh, it wasn't Luminous, but that girl that looked like Luminous, I thought, put on the jacket. Rose petals. Valentine. Valentine and Rose. Kind of makes sense, right? It's like a thematic thing. Valentine, rose petals. Four. For what? There's four true dragons. 
guardian of the four true dragons? What? Guardians of the f Guardians of the Galaxy? She would guardian the Why would the dragons need a guardian? I I Who is this? Who is this? Hero? Yusha! Yusha, say it! Alright, everyone got their own roles. We're good now. She lost a unique skill. What? Why would... Zenobia made a full recovery, but she lost a unique skill to be able to see the souls? What the fuck? That's kind of... That's kind of a scam. Paolo... Fuck A-rank adventurer, bro. Paolo became the knight's... Captain here? What? Paolo? Yo! This is an insane promotion! He got scout- The fuck? This lucky motherfucker just showed up just drunk shit talking Rimuru gets bailed out. Fucking- Then he did have some heroic acts. He did have a main character moment. I think he earned it. Yeah, he is actually failing upwards. Kind of like Yom. Yom don't do shit! Yom just sits there! The ruins in that land. What other favor? Wonder what that is. A new demon lord has appeared. But this is not season 2 yet. Huge time skip. After season 2. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, you can still do it. Why not? You don't want to be a you don't want to be a wife of a demon. Yo, yo, yo! Zenobia casually being like, oh, I wanted to fucking you know marry. It. <laughs> but if she tried, there's a lot of girls that be fucking upset, bro. She won't would not. She would and Shuna would never let that fucking happen. Bro. Main guard, bro. Look at him. But I shit on a fucking true demon lord. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even return the money. Dude, the man that moved off of a true demon lord is crazy. Where is this? Harp. Primordial yellow. Primordial yellow. Primordial yellow. Who are you? Yellow. Gold. What the fuck is? What did she just do? She opened. What is this kingdom? This is not Coleus, right? It's just a random. This is not Coleus, right? Is this Coleus? It's not Coleus, right? C could you imagine she just fucking nuked the fucking kingdom? I can't tell because it, it looks like some desert place. It's some random fucking city, right? So she opens up a fucking portal. And is it safe to say that this is like um desert? I mean, sorry. So the demon lords, right? Sorry, not the demon lords. The primordial um demons. They all chill in like this like demon realm. Is this like a demon realm for her? Because like, where is Diablo chilling until he got summoned? Anyways, she's chilling in this like space. I don't even know what fucking territory this is. Huh? Oh, who is this? Clayman looking. Oh, My Primordial White Blanc. Primordial white, Blanc or some shit? I'm just like, there's gotta be like a white. Okay, so <laughs> Primordial white, that's a fucking MILF. Has a husbando as one mate, as one butler, has a, as a femboy Shota as another butler. Okay, Violet? Violet? Oh my god, those dies. Who's that? Violet, Violet, Violet. Bendy. No, this is movie stuff. This is movie stuff. I remember the movie uh, poster. I remember this, this, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll sprout next. Movie stuff. And that is the visions of Coldius. Damn, yo, uh, uh, there are some like slow moments, I guess, that people might not enjoy. But like this third episode, holy shit! Like, I, I think like this, the post-credit scene is like the most hype, right? Cause it like gives us, you know, more context and like there's more primordial demons and they're fucking sick. One of them just opens up a fucking portal and just nukes the city. I don't know what is Violet's plan though, right? Cause she says that girl never learns, and I don't think the OVA kind of just tells us what Violet's intention is, right? So maybe that is more uh, season four or season five content. Damn, yeah, it, it, we, were, we, were, we were right to watch this fucking OVA, man.
And like any type of primordials mentioned, I'm like, oh yeah, we gotta fucking check it out. Now, the uh, the OVA cell, I think it was a pretty good self-contained story. I think Paula was fucking sick. Benny and Soe got some great time. You know, Ranga was just panting out his ass. Gustav actually was kind of cool at the end because he became he was like an arc demon all this time, right? And there was like a, even a twist. It's like, oh, are they vampires? It's like, nah, it's actually a demon. And no, they're not primordial. They're just arc demons. And it's like, who's the fucking primordial? This girl. Karane from 100 Girlfriends, Violet. She's got some plan that I don't really know. And there's some more lore about Luminous. Now, Luminous is a part of the Guardians of the Four. How many four things do we know? Maybe the true dragon is, I don't know. And that's pretty much it. I, the only other questions I really have is like, you know, this, this chamber, right? Because like in the opening, Luminous is like looking at this like chamber and there's this being that looks like Chloe and Shizu, so it's safe to say maybe it's like the remnants of the hero and Luminous is trying to resurrect the hero? I don't know. Pecan. I'm not sure how we are going to handle the movie, but regardless, uh, we got a lot of signed content at once and that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.